Hey everyone, how are you all? Welcome to my tip channel. I am Ashwari Agarwal, your math tutor. Today's topic is mensuration, area, perimeter of square and rectangle related problem sums. Those who haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and also hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and family members. So let's start, let's begin, let's get started today's topic as I have said, mensuration. Let's start. Find the perimeter of a square of side 13 cm. It's a square. It's a square. And it's each side is 13 cm. 13 cm. 13 cm. 13 cm. So I can say length is 13 cm. Therefore, perimeter, there is a formula, perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by length. So, just multiply 4 and 13 and uh, the answer is 52 centimeter. So, answer 52 centimeter. Find the perimeter of a square of side 13 centimeter. Length 13 cm, therefore perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by length is equal to 4 multiplied by 13 cm, 52 cm. Remember this formula, perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by length. And watch all the videos of mensuration that I have uploaded on my trip channel. Watch the playlist. Next. Find the perimeter of triangle of side 7 cm, 6 cm and 3 cm. So it's a triangle. Definitely scaling triangle. So 7 cm, 6 cm, say 3 cm. So perimeter. Perimeter is equal to sum of all the three sides all the three sides of a triangle of a triangle is equal to 7 cm plus 6 cm plus 3 cm so it's 16 cm that's the answer 16 centimeter you have to just add these three dimensions find the perimeter of triangle of side 7 centimeter 6 centimeter and 3 centimeter perimeter is equal to sum of all the three sides of a triangle is equal to 7 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 3 centimeter is equal to 16 centimeter answer 16 centimeter find the perimeter of a rectangle of length 10 meter and breadth 4 meter length 10 meter breadth 4 meter 4 meter so length 10 meter breadth 4 meter perimeter there is a formula 2 multiplied by length plus breadth because it's a rectangle so 2 10 meter plus 4 meter so it's 2 14 meter 28 meter answer answer 28 meter find the perimeter of a rectangle of length 10 meter breadth 4 meter length 10 meter breadth 4 meter therefore perimeter is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus breadth is equal to 2 multiplied by 10 meter plus 4 meter 2 multiplied by 14 meter 28 meter so answer 28 meter Find the perimeter of a square of side 17 centimeter. Suppose it's a square. So each side is 17 centimeter. 
सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर सो लेंथ इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर देर इज अ फॉर्मूला आई हैव अपलोडेड वीडियोज ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज सो प्लीज वॉच दोज वीडियोज सो इट्स सिक्सटी एट सेंटीमीटर आंसर सिक्सटी एट सेंटीमीटर फाइन द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ स्क्वायर ऑफ साइज सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर लेंथ इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई लेंथ फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर सिक्सटी एट सेंटीमीटर सो आंसर सिक्सटी एट सेंटीमीटर फाइन द एरिया ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल हुज लेंथ इज एट पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड ब्रेड टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो सपोज इट्स अ रेक्टेंगल 8.5 सेंटीमीटर 8.5 सेंटीमीटर 2.5 सेंटीमीटर 2.5 सेंटीमीटर सो लेंथ इज इक्वल टू 8.5 सेंटीमीटर ब्रेथ इज इक्वल टू 2.5 सेंटीमीटर देर इज अ फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया फॉर रेक्टेंगल and that's length multiplied by breadth we have to just multiply 8.5 cm and 2.5 cm Twenty-one 21.25 square cm answer 21.25 square cm Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 8.5 cm, breadth 2.5 cm. Length 8.5 cm, breadth 2.5 cm. Area is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Is equal to 8.5 cm multiplied by 2.5 cm. So it's 21.25 square cm. Answer 21.25 square cm. Cm multiplied by cm is square cm. Find the area of a rectangle whose length is thirty-two meter and breadth zero point five meter. So suppose it's a rectangle thirty-two meter, thirty-two meter, zero point five meter, zero point five meter. So length is equal to thirty-two meter. Breadth is equal to zero point five meter. Area. How to find out the area for rectangle? There is a formula. Please watch all the videos of mensuration that I've uploaded on my YouTube channel. Watch the playlist, please. So it's just multiplication, length by breadth, thirty-two meter by zero point five meter. Answer: sixteen square meter. meter multiplied by meter square meter find the area of a rectangle whose length is 32 meter breadth 0.5 meter length 32 meter breadth 0.5 meter area is equal to length multiplied by breadth is equal to 32 meter multiplied by 0.5 meter so it's 16 square meter answer 16 square meter the length of a rectangular field is 72 meter Find the area of the field if its breadth is one third of the length of the field. Length is equal to seventy-two meter. Breadth is equal to one third of seventy-two meter. So it's twenty-four meter. Therefore. Area is equal to length multiplied by breadth. So it's just multiplication: seventy-two meter and twenty-four meter. Let's multiply. So it's one seven two eight square meter. Answer: one seven two eight. One seven two eight square meter. 
the length of a rectangular field is 72 meter find the area of the field if its breadth is one third of the length of the field length is equal to 72 meter breadth is equal to one third of 72 meter is equal to 24 meter area is equal to length multiplied by breadth is equal to 72 meter multiplied by 24 meter so it's 1728 square meter answer 1728 square meter the side of a square tile is 12 centimeter how many tiles can be placed on a floor which is 3.6 meter long and 2 meter wide area of floor is equal to length multiplied by breadth so it's like 3.6 meter multiplied by 2 meter so it's 7.2 square meter now area of tile now it's a square so the formula is length square so it's 12 centimeter square so it's 144 square centimeter now we have to we have to convert this to centimeter because we can't divide meter by centimeter or we cannot divide centimeter by meter we have to convert everything to meter and then divide or either to centimeter and then divide we can't do this we can't do this so here it is We have to convert meter to centimeter. It's square meter to square centimeter. Because we can't divide centimeter by meter. We can't divide meter by centimeter. Either we have to convert everything to centimeter and then divide. Or we have to convert everything to meter and then divide. So we have to convert this square meter to square centimeter. And then only we can divide. So it is 72000 square centimeter. Therefore, number of tiles, number of tiles is equal to seven two zero 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 square centimeter by one forty four square centimeter. Let's divide. So it's five hundred. Answer five hundred. The side of a square tile is 12 cm. How many tiles can be placed on a floor which is 3.6 meter long and 2 meter wide? First we have to find out area of floor and then area of tile and then divide area of floor by area of tile. And that number will be the answer because it will be the number, number of tiles. Area of floor is equal to length multiplied by breadth is equal to 3.6 meter multiplied by 2 meter. So it's equal to 7.2 square meter. Now we have to convert this to square centimeter. So it's 72000 square centimeter. Area of tile is equal to length square is equal to 12 centimeter square is equal to 144 square centimeter. Now we have to divide number of tiles is equal to 72000 square centimeter by 144 square centimeter. So it's 500 and 500. The total cost of flooring a room at rupees 80.50 per square meter is rupees 4830. If the length of the room is 8 meter, find its breadth. Total cost is equal to rupees 4830. Therefore, area is equal to rupees 4830 
by rupees eighty point five zero. Sixty square meter. Therefore, breadth is equal to area by length is equal to sixty square meter by eight meter. So it's seven point five meter. Answer seven point five meter. The total cost of flooring a room at rupees eighty point five zero per square meter is rupees four eight three zero. If the length of the room is eight meter, find its breadth. Total cost is equal to rupees four eight three zero. Therefore, area is equal to rupees four eight three zero by rupees eighty point five zero is equal to four eight three zero multiplied by hundred by eight zero five zero square meter is equal to sixty square meter. Therefore, breadth. Therefore, breadth is equal to area by length. Area sixty square meter by eight meter is equal to seven point five meters. 